Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to the Jäger Heisenweg. Um, this is a special episode zero. We're still not talking about the manga. Um, now we are currently talking about Shinjeki no Kyojin, chapter zero. Um, I love stories like these. This is, for those who don't know, a prototype for the actual manga. And looking at it, you can see a lot of similarities. You know, clearly the same guy, but it's just kind of crap. And that's fine. But, like, you know what? I really do love looking at stuff like this. I adore it. Um, My Hero Academia, Boku no Hero Academia, also has a prototype that I really enjoyed. It's just called My Hero or Boku no Hero. I really do just adore seeing the prototype of these. So, it's not really that different from normal Attack on Titan. Um, you can even see a lot of like similarities. Titans are a little more sapient, and instead of just having one weak spot on the back of the neck, uh, they have a thing called a nucleus that's just wherever. Um, Titans all kind of look the same, which is uh, really a downside, because one of the really cool things about Attack on Titan is seeing the just weird body horror of all the miscellaneous Titans and how just weird and gross they look. I love that. I think that's great. Um, as opposed to the, like, Germanic world of normal Attack on Titan, it has a lot more Japanese names. Uh, the primary characters are... Murakumo, Subaki, and Taka, Takanami. Yeah. Um, and you can even see similar things between those characters. Like, we have a boy-boy-girl trio. Murakumo, Subaki, and Takanami. You know, just like all the trios in Attack on Titan proper. Murakumo is like Levi. Um but he looks like Aaron and can turn into a Titan. Spoilers, like Aaron. And his Titan form looks just like Aaron. Uh, which is to say, it looks like the attack Titan. Subaki is a little like Aaron because Titans killed her dad. Well, Titans killed her parent. And she just wants to slaughter them all. Uh, and then Takanami is kind of like Armin and kind of like Jean, Jean. It's um, it's kind of crap, to be honest. The art is not good. It's so hard to tell where I'm supposed to be looking, and perspective is really not a strong suit right now. Um, They don't really have the normal, like, swords that they have. Because, like, the swords in Attack on Titan are really cool and functional, and I like them and their styling. Where it's just a handle that you clip a new sword into because it needs to be sharp as fuck. And then whenever it's dull, just throw it away. That makes sense. I really like that. That makes a lot of sense. Here they have, like, katanas with little flint wheels on them. Kind of like a lighter, um, which lets them shoot fire. I think that's really just for the sake of being cool. I don't think it actually does anything. Um, and instead of having 3D maneuver gear, everyone has just really, really high jumps. That's kind of weird. Um, I just, I don't get a lot of it. I'm just like, sure, I guess. It it was, it's definitely this author's first work. Um, to my knowledge, this is the first thing Hajime Isayama actually did. Um, yeah, I think so. Because all he has really, really done is Attack on Titan. Um, and, like, it sucks, but, like, it's definitely got potential. That's the main thing. Um, and there's so many things where you're like, yeah, sure, I like that. Look at that. Like, instead of walled cities made of concrete, everything's made of wood. Which is apparently because wood... Like, trees have pure hearts and are holy and stuff, and titans can't kill trees, I guess.
and also like it's not terrible it's bad but it's not miserable it's just confusing and kind of ugly to look at but it's not complete garbage and you know what that's perfectly fine i i think that it is a perfectly passable first draft it's one of those things where like you really can't even make fun of it there's this uh there's this comic called the star wars and it's based off of george lucas's first draft of star wars and then they drew it into a real comic and like the comic kind of sucks but it's hard to say that because of course it sucks it's the first draft the point of that comic was to publish something never meant to be published and that's the case with this it is explicitly the first try it sucks because this is the practice run and you're not supposed to look at it and judge it and so i don't really even want to hate on it that much it's perfectly passable it's fine you know um but yeah as for the art i'm looking at it like it's so markery and liney and like shading is not a talent it's just so messy it gives me hope because uh, for those who haven't seen some of my other videos, I myself am a artist, and I have a great deal of interest in drawing comics. It's like, hey, if something like this can get turned into one of Japan's biggest uh, multimedia properties, you know, maybe I've got some hope for me. Of course, we always do, but... So yeah, this is just a prototype. And like, I don't even hate it. I can't hate it, you know? It's it's nature is something that like is not built to be looked at honestly. It's a pitch, you know? But like, there is a lot of good in the pitch. So yeah, that's um, Attack on Titan Chapter Zero. Still making the... Um, I mean, by the time that this comes out, the actual channel for this podcast might be a reality. Um, but as of now, it's still going on my main channel. But next time, and definitely by the time that the actual channel is up for this, uh, there will be, in fact, its own... Uh, we're, we'll be talking about the manga. All right. So, yeah, um, I'm Alfred, short for Elfriedrich. This is an Attack on Titan reread podcast, although we've started with two whole episodes not rereading Attack on Titan. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for listening. Uh, bye.